Hello, I'm Kyle, and welcome back to Bedtime Verses with Kyle. Just a little poetry to help you get ready for bed. Tonight we're back with more John Donne. I've decided to give French a rest, let my tongue recover. Um, <clears throat> and we have another song, and something called The Undertaking. So, let's get right into this. Let's see how he feels about his girlfriend now. Sweetest love, I do not go for weariness of thee nor in hope the world can show a fitter love for me. But since that I must die at last, tis best to use myself in jest, thus by feigned deaths to die. Faking his death, what? Yes, tonight the sun went hence, and yet is here today. He hath no desire nor sense, nor half so short a way. Then fear not me, but believe that I shall make speedier journey since I take more wings and spurns than he. Oh, how feeble is man's power, that if good fortunes fall, cannot add another hour, nor a lost hour recall. But come, bad chance, and we join it to our strength. Join to it. There is a river rushing over my head. Uh, it's like the second I do this, the entire world decides to do everything all at once at the same time. There's a movie like that, was it? Everything all at once, all at the same time, whatever the hell it is. That's what's happening about my head every time I do these typings. Every time. Like, the minute, the minute I go to do it. It's amazing. It just it explodes, clatters just everywhere. It is the way of the world, I'm sure. When thou sighest, when thou sighest not wind, but sighest my soul away, when thou weepst unkindly kind, my life's blood doth decay. It cannot be that thou lovest me as thou sayest, if in thine my life thou waste, Thou art the best of me. Let not thy divining heart forethink me any ill. Destiny may take thy part, and may thy fears fulfill. But think that we are but turned aside to sleep. They who one another keep alive, ne'er parted be. This one's also a little kind of rickety. He says, don't worry, I'll be back like the sun. Mm. And uh, if you love me, you can't stand to be away from me. Uh, Weak, John Donne. This is weak bulls BS. This is weak BS. I almost swore there. Okay, here we go. The Undertaking. Let's see if this is a little more gratifying. I have done one braver thing than all the worthies did, yet a braver thence doth spring, which is to keep that hid. Mm. It were but madness now to impart this skill of specular stone, when he which can have learned the art to cut it can find none. So if I now should utter this, others, because no more such stuff to work upon there is, would love but as before. But he who loveliness within hath found all outward loathes, for he who color loves and skin loves but their oldest clothes. So love would sit within the old trope. Although, uh, yeah, we'll talk about it after. If, as I have, you also do, virtue attired in woman see, and dare love that, and say so too, and forget the he and she, and if this love, though place it so, from profane men you hide, which will no faith on this bestow, or if they do deride, then you've done a braver thing than all the worthies did, and a braver thence will spring, which is to keep that hid. <laughs> ah, I'm having naughty thoughts here. It's like, the girl that's like a four or a three, you're like, yeah, yeah, you did that, and it's like, it would be brave to say it, but it's braver to keep it hidden? I wonder about that. That's not what he's talking about. He says, virtue a tie to woman. See, it's like, if you dare have the courage to love a woman, there's that. But then do you have the courage to tell no one about it, to shut your mouth about it? Interesting. I still think it's more like taking that three on a date and not letting anybody know. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's courage, though. It's something. <laughs> well, thanks again for joining me for Bedtime Verses with Kyle. You can follow me here, subscribe to my YouTube or my website, and there'll be new readings every weekday night at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good night. Sleep tight.